Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Katie from Do More Good. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about more uh, Do More Good. And sure. It should just roll off the tongue. It, it Everybody should. wants to do more good. <laughs> Do More Good is an educational nonprofit, and we focus on training charities, other nonprofits, mm -hmm. on the wisdom of branding and marketing to further their mission. So, tell me a little about kind of what you. So, you told me what you do, but sure, what how do my, we do it? Yeah, how yeah, do you do it? Yeah, we do it through curriculum, online content, um, but our big push is through events, through mm -hmm. conferences and workshops. We actually have two coming up this year: one in June, and a much larger annual conference in October, which is pretty exciting. Great. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background because I know it's in nonprofit. Sure. It's actually in marketing and nonprofit. Okay. So, way back um, when I was just out of business school, I was the marketing director of actually my husband's firm. Mm -hmm. um, I worked in marketing there for five years and then took a marketing position with a nonprofit um, ministry in Grand Rapids, mm -hmm. Our Daily Bread. And that was my first taste of nonprofit. It motivated me to go get my master's degree in nonprofit wow. leadership. And then I went on to lead a couple organizations on the lakeshore. Great. Yeah. So, what is the uh, inspiration for Do More Good? The inspiration really is Bill McKendry, who's our founder. Mm -hmm. So, years ago, probably a little over 10 years ago, Bill was recognized as the top professional doing cause marketing work or marketing work for nonprofits in the nation. So he receives this award and they say, why don't you go on a speaking tour? So he does this and he does it under the banner platform of Do More Good. Mm -hmm. Seven years ago, I'm at Our Daily Bread. I go attend an Association of Fundraising Professionals conference and Bill is the keynote. He speaks on Do More Good, um, on using marketing in the nonprofit mm -hmm. arena to further your purpose. And I never forgot it. Really? So seven years later, I'm here on the lakeshore. Bill moves uh, his marketing agency here to mm -hmm. the lakeshore and says, let's have coffee. And my first question was, um, what are you going to do with Do More Good? Yeah. We have a gentleman's or gentlewoman's agreement mm -hmm. that I would help him get his marketing agency started here, and he would incorporate Do More Good as a nonprofit for me wow. to lead. Now, had he can kind of continued Do More Good, or was it kind of... He had continued it as a speaking platform. So he has mm -hmm. spoken to over 200 nonprofit um, organizations, events, all throughout the nation under this banner of Do More Good. Mm -hmm. We're now just legitimizing it, but we're also broadening it. So sure. our first event in June will have um, seven speakers. Mm -hmm. The event in October will actually be a two-day conference, and we will have probably 20 marketing and nonprofit wow. experts featured. Um, and our keynote is killer. Just so wait. So is that, that where is that where nonprofits come to learn about how to to yes. do more good and, yeah. and brand, start branding their stuff? Yes, better? exactly. And w so, what do you think the disconnect is with marketing and nonprofits? I think a lot of it is just. Um, old perceptions on marketing, old norms in the mm -hmm. nonprofit arena. I mean, we used to see Charity Navigator and other um, guard dog institutions like that actually rate nonprofits on how much of their um, revenue was spent on marketing or even sure. on overhead. Um, you used to see a lot of annual reports mm -hmm. where fundraising or marketing was split out. We're now more enlightened. We're getting there at least. Most, okay. most boards, most organizations are more enlightened. They see that for organizations to grow, to build that broader base, they need to communicate more. Mm -hmm. um, I still want to encourage nonprofits to steward their money wisely, and that's a big push with our curriculum. And I think that's kind of the, gosh, I can't spend more marketing because I need my funding to exactly. get further my You cause. want every dollar to go to cause. Sure. What we want to see organizations do is make wiser investments mm -hmm. when it comes to how they communicate and how they market. Um, we're not going to encourage them to go blow their budget, but we're going to enlighten them as to some things they can do every day with any kind of budget. So give me a couple tips. Don't take away from these big events coming up, but what sure, are what are a sure. couple tips that some nonprofits can do? I'll give you one ultimate tip. Mm -hmm. Think of um, think of Nike, think of Apple, think of these major organizations that we know so well. We mm -hmm. see their logos and we just know who they are. At some point, they stopped thinking of themselves as an organ as a business, and they started seeing themselves as a brand. Now, right. some nonprofit examples: um, Habitat for Humanity, St. Jude's, mm -hmm. well recognized, 
easily associated with the impact they provide. They are beginning to see themselves as a brand and not a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. To start branding. Yes, yeah. Okay. Every touch point matters. So you don't have to go, you don't have to start an ad campaign to have your lobby, have your employees, have your newsletters, all of your communications mm -hmm. send the same message about what you're doing and why you should be supported. And that, you know, when you think about it, that can be reasonable as well. I mean, it doesn't yeah. have to be a huge budget to start branding, but just have everything no. on the same page or and that's, looking alike. That's a great thing about these conferences. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to feature some top marketing professionals, but we're also featuring some very um, niche professionals that focus on smaller nonprofits and have some of that great insight onto how to really help them leverage what they do. Andy Kopietz from um, Good Done Daily is coming from Detroit to our mm -hmm. June conference, wow. and he's the perfect example of that. Okay, and these conferences are going to be local? Local. Um, the first one is at the Grand Valley Innovation Hub. Grand Valley's um, mm -hmm. been a great partner for us. We're going to feature someone from the Dorothy Johnson Center. Um, for philanthropy. We're also featuring Andy Kopietz, Chris Grindum from the Utmost Group, Bill McKendry will be speaking mm -hmm. at that event. We have representation from the local community foundation sitting on a panel with nonprofits talking wow. about marketing. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And just to think seven years ago. I know. That's kind of where it all started. Well, God always has a good plan. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Just let him lead you. Yeah. Um, so what do you think the impact um, that you guys are going to have on the community? Well, especially this community, Ottawa County in general, mm -hmm. it's such a, a epicenter of nonprofit activity, sure. and we have some of the best nonprofits around. I love that our first event is within close proximity to the Tri Cities, and I hope to see strong representation from our organizations at this event. Um, the wisdom applies to organizations of all sizes, so the ones operating in the Tri-Cities mm -hmm. are going to benefit in a big way. That's great. And that's kind of where I, why I started this show, Community Connect, because there are so many nonprofits out there. There are large ones, but there are yes. a lot of small ones that yeah. people just don't know about, and but they have a heart for what they're doing. Yeah. So hopefully this show has helped with a lot of those, just getting the word out there. Undoubtedly. Uh, a lot of smaller um, nonprofits. So, well, yes. I think we're out of time. So, thank you so much yeah, for being thank here you. and telling us about uh, Do More Good. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.